Today we've got a 2024 Lance 650 truck camper uh, designed for F250 or 2500 short bed trucks. Um, this one's uh, probably about the smallest they make and uh, will zip inside shortly. Um, but it does have a rear awning, which is uh, super cool and convenient, as does it have a side awning. Um, it is a uh, wind sensing unit, so if the wind picks up, it'll automatically retract. It does not have uh, the side arms here, so you don't want that thing flapping in the wind. It will rip off. It does have the power jacks up and down, happy jacks as they're called, exterior speakers. I've got my little battery jump box hanging out right there. Does have the full fiberglass front cap. And as we get, make our way around, we're still running uh, the same plastic dual pane windows. Uh, this is just an access port, of course, to get to uh, some of the mechanicals. Uh, fresh water fill, exterior shower, hot and cold, power plug-in, heat exhaust, um, little storage area here. Um, and you'll kind of see that this is on the inside of the bathroom as well. So. There's a little access panel, but if I turn a little light on, you can kind of see how they got everything here. A little uh, winterization plug tube. Um, LED lights all around, so pretty straightforward there. Um, weights on this thing is actually uh, pretty darn light. Here is uh, the manufacturer tag. It's telling me 2264. Uh, propane is down below. They have it on uh, its side just to kind of fit because again, this is a smaller unit I'll uh, step on in here and show you around and get the door Get rid of some of that expressway noise And I apologize in advance. I didn't close my windows And I just totally made it go sideways apparently this is more challenging than i thought uh, good for the video you guys can see my struggle um does have the pleated shades there um screen comes down from the top I'll move back and start at the rear entryway is hanging out bathroom would be on your left or our right key hook is hanging here a little bit of storage up top netted area for some more storage and again, <coughs> a little bit more storage there as well. I did find some storage hanging out down behind this cushion, so that was kind of nifty. 12 volt uh, USB 110 power as well. Of course, this drops down. All your switches are hanging out there. Um, bathroom, a little bit tighter than all the other ones we've seen so far. This is what I'd call a traditional uh, wet bath. Looks like you got some towel hanger hooks, a little vent hanging out there. Still get the medicine cabinet, which is nice. More molded in plastic feel to this one. And then we did talk about this before, but this is that access panel. Looks like you got your water pump and whatnot in there. Winterization bypass. So super nice. Heating element, of course, open and close. And uh, let's, uh, Let's stand the big guy in here. All right, so if the door's shut, I'm, I don't even know if you can see this, but I'm tight. I'm hitting almost both sides of the walls and this front wall. My head is way up in this dome. There's your shower head. And uh, I'm literally hanging out over the toilet, so pretty tight that way if I'm sitting down on the toilet a uh, kind of fit ish but I'd probably have the door cracked if I was actually going to use this in that sitting position so as far as the bathroom goes it's functional but not too practical unless of course you're not as large as I then you are good to go rain sensing uh Fantastic fan hanging out here. Ooh, you even have a little coat hanger there I missed before. Uh, moving right along into the kitchen. You've got your uh, silverware tray. I suppose I never mentioned this, but they are soft closed drawers. 
They stick pretty good probably because they're new and then they just take off and do their own thing. A decent storage up top here. Microwave plug in. You still got that fancy little arm that it takes off. I wonder if it closes itself. No. Solar panel up on the roof. It's a 100 watt panel. You can add up to two. It's already plumbed for it. We've got the Truma controller here, solar panel, awning lights, and of course your tank levels. Um, sink area, kitchen area, solid surface countertops. I'm not sure why they run a plastic sink in here because uh, of everything that they're doing. That seems a little out of place. Maybe they'll update that in the years to come. Um, this is functional. Looks like it's from about 1970, but it will get the job done. Uh, unfortunately, there is no uh, exhaust fan, so whatever you cook here, boil of water, it's gonna it's gonna have to get out somewhere. So I pop that fan open and do your thing. No spin plate microwave. Nothing to break or shatter when you're going down the road. Um, you do now have uh, three steps entryway into the bed, which is a little bit more natural. I suppose before I get all the way in, I'll show you the fridge and freezer. Pretty decent size. Uh, pretty straightforward. It is a three-way. So it will run off of, you know, 110, 12 volt and gas. And uh, the bed's still pretty big. I don't think they cut this down at all. Hanging out over here, if you got your stereo, heat, 12 volt USB power, all that good stuff. Television is back here, still on a uh, swivel bracket. It is still, I do believe, a 12 volt system. Yeah, the light's on over there, you can see it. Um, there is a vent fan over the bed here, not a big, huge exit way like the other ones had. I'm going to turn my light on here, so I'm going to wash things out a little bit, but it's better than seeing nothing. A little bit of hanging sliding storage in here. So, pretty good use of the space. I won't complain about that at all. It's actually pretty nifty. Uh, back corner shelf. There is power back there, so sleep machine users, you are ready to rock and roll. You still get the reading lights. I didn't bother turning them on this time. This TV is of a sufficient height where you could actually sit down, lay down, and watch it. And then of course we kind of talked about the uh, roof vent here with the little fan. I'd probably upgrade that to make it bigger. Um, this is actually a little concerning to me. Being as uh, propane and CO2 typically uh, sink. So you should have that as close to the ground as possible, whereas uh, smoke rises, which that's up here. I guess I don't know why they have the sensor up here in the bed area. I suppose you'll still wake up before it's a problem, but if it was down there, I don't know how they got away with that from the code standpoint. I guess I won't worry. Otherwise, pretty straightforward camper. It's got everything you need. Again, just a little bit on the tight side if you're going to use the bathroom. Thanks for watching.